Okay, I hear ya, I hear ya, I hear ya, I hear ya. Oh my god, okay, so... Oh my god, the amount of messages you Chibits have sent me is unbelievable, like... My private message box is flooded with, Did you see the Dragon Ball Super announcement? Did you see that Dragon Ball Super announcement? No, I like that, I, I like how all of you are trying to let me know, but my god, the... The amount of Chibits just telling me that, like, dude, off the fucking charts right now, so... I don't know how many of you are aware of this, like, some of you might know, some of you might not know, depending on how long you've been a Chibit in our community, Dragon Ball Z was the series that got me into anime in the first place, it's what really gave me my love for anime, what made me go on a conquest to read manga, watch more anime, and then eventually made me become a reviewer that I am here doing today. And if you did not know, probably if you've seen the background, I have all the Dragon Ball Z, you know, DVDs. The DVD orange bricks that came out. And alongside of that, uh, I showed it in my room tour a long time ago. I've collected all the VHSs of Dragon Ball Z. Like, I have all, like, all the movies of VHSs and, you know, all Dragon Ball Z VHSs. And I got this, uh, this one out because this was personally my favorite saga in Dragon Ball Z. The Cell Saga. It, it was one of my favorites. The Perfect Cell Saga. But... Here's the thing, okay? I've been a long-time follower of Dragon Ball Z since it was airing on TV in America in the early 2000s. I've been a long-time follower. I used to religiously watch it every time a new episode came out. And to see how now, after so long, after the ending of Dragon Ball Z and GT, to see a new series coming out, it's like my inner fanboy just exploded. I, I am... Let's put it this way. I'm so hyped up right now, I don't know how to feel. Like, I don't know how to react right now. Like, the, I'm at that state of point and state of mind where I don't know what I should say because I am a massive DBZ fanboy. I really am. I've collected a lot of shit with it. I've loved it since the beginning. Like I said, it's what got me into even watching anime and reading manga. And to see how now... After just a new movie just recently came out, Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of Frieza, we now have a new series coming out very soon in July this year. I'm shocked. We come to find out that this news is that Dragon Ball Super is supposed to take place after Boo. So, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that since it was saying that this was written by Akira Toriyama, you know, the mangaka... I'm assuming that the storyline that we're going to see in Dragon Ball Super is either A, going to take place after what happened with the Resurrection of Frieza movie, or it's probably going to take uh, place between before Frieza comes up, like maybe between the two movies, or before the movies, or you know, maybe take place after the two movies. But we got a new Dragon Ball series coming. Now, I, I personally don't know what I should feel, because... Dragon Ball series, I, I'm glad we're getting more content. I am very happy we're getting more content, but is it good? Like, Akira Toriyama, I remember, I don't know if this is, like, official or not. Like, I don't know if this is official, so take this, don't take this at face value. Take it with a grain of salt. If I was correct, Akira Toriyama didn't really want to continue writing Dragon Ball Z. Like, he wanted to kind of end it after Cell and stuff, from what I heard a long time ago. And to see how he ended after Boo... And I'm just shocked he wants to continue on, because Akira Toriyama seemed like he was kind of, you know, done with Dragon Ball for a while. Like, he was just done, and to see how now he's starting to write stories and stuff like this, I wonder what really got him to wanting to come back onto the stadium, or, you know, the, the hall, and say, like, okay, let's start this Dragon Ball series. Let's start this, let's start these movies. I mean, what really got him into it? I mean, besides money, because, you know, creators need to make money... What really got him? Because if you don't want to write something, you won't write it, no matter what. No matter how much money you could possibly make from it, you won't want to do it. I mean, it just only goes so far. It goes with your passion. And so I wonder what caused Akira Toriyama to want to step out and become part of the spotlight once again. Is he wanting to go a new route? Like, is he just wanting to do this series through an anime? Like, is he not wanting to write a manga at all? Is he, like, taking a new path? Since we do know he's been writing, you know, the past two movies. He's written both of the movies that's came out recently these past couple of years. I wonder if Akira Toriyama's now going down a different path. What if he's just trying to write series through anime? Kind of like, you know, 
how he's been doing with the movies. And this would kind of be a different direction for mangaka to take. Instead of constantly half and right weekly chapters and going through, you know, Shonen Jump, maybe Kiri Toriyama is trying to do something different. He's trying to write a story through an anime. And this is a lot of things I've seen constantly brought up, like, you know, how Togashi should have done with Hunter x Hunter, since Hunter x Hunter was done so fucking well in the anime, but that's a different video, that's another day and another topic. But to see how Dragon Ball Z is coming back, Dragon Ball Super, this July 2015, I'm hyped. There's not much information besides it taking place after Majin Buu, so, yeah. I think it's time I start dusting off my Dragon Ball VHSs and... DVDs and start re-watching this wonderful fucking series just to get prepped up. I mean, I remember almost everything from Dragon Ball Z. Like, I I've re-watched the series dozens of times. I have, no offense. And I'm hype. I'm fucking hype. It's like my childhood's coming back. I can't wait to fucking review Dragon Ball Z. I cannot wait to fucking review, chat, and talk about it. I can't wait to see my Vegeta, Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, speaking of Gohan, what they did to him in the movie was fucking bullshit, I'm sorry, that was bullshit, but getting to see my Vegeta, Goku, Piccolo, getting to see just all sorts of characters, y'all just probably gonna be pushed aside as always, Tien, I wanna see him back, I wanna see Tien back, so yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments below, how do you feel about Dragon Ball Z being back, I love y'all so much, please be safe, Chibi out.